Live it, love it. My GC. The staff here at the Corumban Wildlife Hospital do an incredible job treating over 8,000 animals every single year. As part of our Wildlife Wednesday on mygc.com.au, we're going to be sharing some of these stories with you. So, Mike, who's this little cutie? <laughs> <laughs> this is Henry. Look, he's, he's a gorgeous little echidna. Um, he's a youngster, he's probably about a year old, and he's turned up in the hospital here, just been clipped by a car. He's in very lucky. It could have been an awful lot worse. You were saying it's echidna season. Mm. So winter on the Gold Coast, that's the prime time to see Absolutely. these guys. Absolutely. Look, look, these guys don't like the heat. So it comes into winter time, they become much more active, and it's also leading into their breeding season. That starts in the middle of winter. So, um, you know, the echidnas are very active this time of year. Yeah, they start to come out during the day, they're crossing the roads a lot more. So we see a lot of trauma cases, a lot of hit by cars and a lot of dog attacks where echidnas wander in the backyard. So it's a, it's a time of year to keep your eyes open for echidnas. When echidnas come in, they're built like little tanks and uh, <laughs> with the, the spines all over them, they're quite difficult to examine. So they need a, a very detailed workup, x-rays, ultrasounds, blood tests, to be sure there's no internal injuries, that type of thing. So Henry was a lucky one. He's, he's really just a bit bruised and a little bit sore and he's going to do well and he's going to be released shortly. Don't assume an echidna doesn't have an injury just because you can't see anything obvious. A lot of the injuries are internal with these guys. So if you do see one beside the road or if you think your dog might have got it in the backyard, look, assume there's some nasty injuries going on. How else can people help? Look, you, you know, it, it's something that we really struggle funding-wise all the time. Um, you, you know, these echidnas, we expect to get around 100 of them come through the hospital over winter time, and uh, of course the costs add up, and if people can jump online, go onto our website at the Wildlife Hospital Foundation and donate, it really does help us out.